this is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at fatty acids. Fatty acids are carboxylic acids with a long hydrocarbon chain. Here we have an example of a fatty acid. This is decanoic acid, which has 10 carbon atoms. It has a long hydrocarbon chain and a carboxyl group at one end. Next, we look at saturated fatty acids, which have carbon to carbon single bonds. This example here is steric acid, which has 18 carbon atoms. Here we can see a 3D model of steric acid. The carbon to carbon single bonds have a 109.5 degree bond angle, which is a tetrahedral arrangement. Next, we have monounsaturated fatty acids, which have one carbon to carbon double bond. This example is oleic acid, it has 18 carbon atoms and one carbon to carbon double bond. Here we can see a 3D model of oleic acid. The carbon to carbon double bond has a bond angle of 120 degrees, which is a trigonal planar arrangement. As you can see from the 3D model, the carbon to carbon double bond produces a kink in the chain. Next we have polyunsaturated fatty acids which have many carbon to carbon double bonds. This example is linoleic acid, which has 18 carbon atoms and two carbon to carbon double bonds. Here we can see the 3D model of linoleic acid. The carbon to carbon double bonds have a 120 degree bond angle with a trigonal planar arrangement. And as you can see from the 3D model, the carbon to carbon double bonds produce kinks in the chain. Next, we'll compare the melting points of the three fatty acids. At the top, we have steric acid, which is a saturated fatty acid. Its melting point is 70 degrees C. Bottom left, we have oleic acid, which is a monounsaturated fatty acid with one carbon to carbon double bond. Its melting point is 16 degrees C. And bottom right, we have linoleic acid, which is a polyunsaturated fatty acid with two carbon to carbon double bonds. Its melting point is negative five degrees C. So by comparing the melting points of these three fatty acids, we can see that linoleic acid with the highest number of carbon to carbon double bonds has the lowest melting point. And steric acid with no carbon to carbon double bonds has the highest melting point. So next we'll have a look at the reason for this trend. Saturated fatty acids have carbon to carbon single bonds with 109.5 degree bond angles, which allow the molecules to pack closely together. Saturated fatty acids have a tetrahedral arrangement around the carbon atom. This close packing leads to stronger London dispersion forces between molecules and a higher melting point. Triglycerides composed of saturated fatty acids have higher melting points and are solids at room temperature. They are called fats. An example is butter. Unsaturated fatty acids have carbon to carbon double bonds with 120 degree bond angles. These produce a kink in the chain, meaning the molecules cannot pack closely together. Here we have a carbon to carbon double bond. The bond angle around the carbon is 120 degrees, which produces a kink in the chain. This kink leads to weaker London dispersion forces between molecules and a lower melting point. Triglycerides composed of unsaturated fatty acids have lower melting points and are liquids at room temperature. They are known as oils. An example is olive oil. Don't forget to check the video description for a link to a practice worksheet. And just a reminder that all my videos can be found at my website, which is www msjchem.com